Hey, today we're going to talk about the Swedish vowels. I'm going to use English in this video. So if you prefer watching in Swedish, pick the other one. I have a cold and my voice is a little bit uh, shaky. Okay, let's go. Here they are. We have nine vowels in Swedish and they all have two versions, one long and one short. Today we're going to focus on the long version, so the long vowels. And uh, here you can see them all. We have four hard vowels and five soft vowels. Let's go through them, starting with the hard vowels. Here they are. So say after me. Ah, oh, U, O. Perfect. One more time. A, U, U, O. Great. So let's go, go through them one by one. A is the sound in jaha or bra or jag. Jag heter Jenny. So it's a very uh, closed this way, but open this way, this uh, sound. And it's not really a sound that we use in many other languages. Ah. So uh, not to confuse it with the sound ah, which we don't have in Swedish. We don't have the long ah sound. So ah, right? O from, for example, bor. Var bor du? Jag bor i Stockholm. Or stor. So o. This is uh, the round and very small uh, sound. O, o. And in many languages, it's spelled like this, like the U. So that might be confusing. And then we go to the, to the U. And that's in Swedish. U, U, which is, could be really hard to produce. Uh, as in du or hur, the question word hur. So hur mår du? And we have two long U sounds. U. Bra. And the last one. O. For example, in mår. Hur mår du? Jag mår bra. Or går. O. O. And this is not a version of A. This is not the A with the circle. This is a, a separate letter on its own. O. Okay, let's compare some of them to, with each other. So listen to these two. A, O, A, O. O, 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 O. O, U, O, U. Great. Let's move on to the soft vowels. Here they are. Say after me. E. 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 Great. One more time. E. 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 Uh, perfect. Let's go through them one by one. So, e as in heter. Jag heter Jenny, for example. Um, e, and that could be hard because in English, for example, we don't have the sound. So it's straight. E, heter, ner, fel. Okay. Then we have i, which is Easy because you have it in almost all languages. E, E, the smiling sound. And then we have, okay, sorry, E as in, for example, liten or uh, uh, what else? Fin. You could also have it in the end of the word. Ekonomi, biologi, psykologi, and so on. And then we have E, really hard, E. Um, as in the number fyra, number four, or ny, 
as in new. So jag har en ny jacka. I have a new jacket. Y. And we're going to talk about the difference between E and E here. And then we have A, which is very open both ways, as in uh, när, the question word när, or lärare, läkare, läser, jag läser en bok, ä. And the last one is frown, ö, ö, as in köper, or bröd, or gör, vad gör du? Jag studerar. Okay. Let's compare some of them to each other. So here we have a, a three-way street. So we start with E, which is really easy to produce. E, the smiling letter. E is very close this way, but open this way. So everybody say after me, E. And then we open just a little bit more. So from E to E, E. From E to E. So we open a little bit more for each time. Start over. E, E, E. Great. And these two. So this is one way of trying to find the E, the, the Y sound. Starting with E, which you can all say. E, E. Say E and remember this sound. E. And then. You have to do this with your lips, right? The duck face, sort of. So do this with your lips and then try to say E again, but holding your lips like this. E, E, there you have the perfect E, as in fyra. And if you don't do this, if you keep your lips like relaxed, it's going to sound like E, the other one. And then it means something else. For example, fyra, it means to celebrate. So it's not the number anymore. So you really have to look like this if you want to do the perfect. E. And then <clears throat> I've get, uh, gotten the question about these two. So E, which is a soft vowel, and U, which uh, it's one of the hard vowels, and the difference between these two, because they're quite similar. And then you can do the pen trick. Because for E, the Y, uh, the pen is going to stay. And for the, the other one, U, the pen will drop. Let's try. E, okay, so the duck face. E, 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 U. <laughs> try this at home. Uh, bra! So now you know all the Swedish vowels. Practice, practice, practice. And um, you can also pick a favorite word with, with all of the vowels and practice that word so you can go back to it whenever you need to remember the sound of a vowel. Tack för idag! Hej då!